you know, when uh, Gil Scott Heron said the revolution would not be televised, obviously he wasn't talking about mine because I'm bringing you this today. I'll give you a little snapshot, a little, a little bit of the real, what it's like living this lifestyle. You know, some people glorify this work I do, glorify the hustling, the slanging. The reality is it's not all peaches and cream. I mean, don't get me wrong, it always feels good to go in and get people all excited and hooked on your product. But sometimes the road there is, is the toughest part of the journey. Not actually getting up and doing it, but actually getting there. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but it's not like the world wants me to get out, to get everybody excited about what I'm slanging. Can you imagine that? You think the man wants everybody hooked on hope? You're crazy. Imagine a world full of people all strung out, waking up every day, the first thing they gotta do is get a little bit of hope. That'd be bleak. So you know, as I travel around doing this work, I gotta be a little bit, a little bit stealth. At the same time, sometimes this work is about expanding. I mean, I worked for a long time to get my neighborhood on lock. Make sure that everybody in my neighborhood knew who the dealer was. But if you're gonna make it big in life, if you're gonna create some change, you gotta get a network of dealers out there that are working for you. I can't be everywhere all the time, but I gotta make sure people are down with this product. So the idea of expansion, you can't just go to the metropolises. Sometimes the place that needs your sacks of hope the most are in these rural areas. Drop a couple quarter pounds up there. But trying to do this is kind of the tough part. I would love to just jump into an airplane and go to the airport and fly there. But they're cracking down on that. It's nerve wracking walking into an airport knowing you're smuggling hope. Wonder if I'm gonna get searched what they're gonna find. Imagine front page. Jeremy Bates arrested at the airport smuggling hope. I can't go down like that. So instead I gotta use some alternate forms of transportation. Right now we're in the car. Got a nice little three hour drive in front of me up to Livermore Airport. I'm gonna meet up with another fellow hope dealer named Jim Cambier. I'm gonna jump in his experimental plane touch down on this little landing strip in Hyam Palm. Trying to get people excited about this uh, stuff I'm about to bring. Bring a little extra something this time though. You know, normally it's just a, you know, just a general sack of the goods, but this time I'm lacing it with the truth. I'm giving it the real, it's just a straight up, the OG. Sometimes you give people a little bit of what they need. Sometimes you give them a lot of what they need. Today's one of those days, so I'll keep you posted, let you know how it goes. It's a journey. We're trying to deal some hope. Oh, anyway, I better cut this camera off. I got Johnny Law behind me. It's the last thing I need right now is to get busted with this car full of hope. Be good on yours, I'll be good on mine. Be in touch, peeps.